Hello, welcome to Lessons Food and Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own sausage. I'm going to make three different kinds. One salsiccia like one with the thyme taste, and one uh, cheese sausage, and one chorizo. Uh, I'm going to be making the uh, beef patty or the meat patty uh, the same for all of them. It's going to be half um, pork butt, half chuck roast and then some brine pork belly mixed in mainly to get a little bit more fat in there. I was trying to get hold of some lard or something like that but um, I really couldn't get it because it's off season so I'm going to be using oil to lubricate the machine when grinding and stuff like that. So uh, we'll start off by um, um, gr uh, chopping up the meat into cubes but three quarter of an inch by three quarter of an inch. I've noticed that it's easier if you cut it into smaller pieces than having them too large. And um, then we're gonna grind the meat twice. Anyway, I'll bring you in and I'll show you what we've got. Okay, so we've got about six pounds of chuck roast, about five pounds of pork butt, a pound and a half of brine pork belly. Um, and I'll just start by cleaning, uh, getting all the plastic away and uh, I'll start chopping it up. Okay, there we go. So I've cut up the chuck the pork butt and the brine and pork belly uh, I'm also gonna chop up five solo garlics uh, and eight onions that I'm gonna be introducing into the grinder while I'm doing this just to get them grinded and into the mix from the start spicing up the other stuff other spices I'm gonna be doing once it's all ground anyway back in a bit Okay, there we go. Chuck, pork butt, brine meat, brine the pork belly, garlic, onion, and then I have about a cup and a half of canola oil. I'm gonna use that because my calculation is that this is more or less 20% lean, and I want it to be about 30, and it's about 10 pounds, so I figure a cup should do it. I don't know. Yeah. We'll just have to see. This is gonna this is gonna make some noise, so I'm just gonna turn it off and get to it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one handful of each, just going through like that to get it a little bit mixed while I'm doing it. Here we go. of stuff. I'm just gonna give this a stir and then we're gonna grind it all again but I will exchange the thingamajig with the holes in it and uh, use uh, the smaller one for the second grind. Okay be back in a little bit. I ended up only using about half a cup of oil because I didn't really think it was needed to have any more than that. Um, there was quite a lot of fat in the end anyway, so I think it should be enough. The reason you're doing that is so you don't get a sausage that is too dry. Anyway, so it's up to you. You don't really have to grind it th with, a, with the small um, holes if you don't want to, but I want this to be 
liked by everyone in the family. Anyway, I'm gonna make uh, three batches. Um, I might make them equal or I might make one larger. We'll see. Uh, the plan is to make three sausages, like I said. So here we go again. So see you in a bit. There we go. Three batches of um, sausage mix and these are gonna lead to one film each, one for chorizo, one for thyme-based salsiccia, and one for cheese dogs. Anyway, um, I'll see you in the next movie. Thank you for watching. Bye.